So the state of Colorado's got this ambitious plan to get nearly a million electric cars on the road by 2030. When those cars catch fire, because all cars can catch fire, firefighters will need to respond differently or risk learning an explosive lesson. Here's Mark Salinger. When an electric car catches fire and water is used to try and put it out, garage doors go flying 30 feet. We had no idea there was a Jeep in there being charged. All Mountain View firefighters could see inside this garage in Erie when they arrived yesterday was a whole lot of smoke and flames coming from inside the Jeep. They saw the uh, uh, back seat was on fire, used the water. As soon as the water hit the batteries, it exploded that room because of the buildup of gases. Doug Saba knows water and electric battery fires don't mix well. He's the deputy fire marshal for Mountain View Fire Rescue. Once we put water uh, with an inorganic and an organic uh, mixing, it's not a good combination. If firefighters had known the Jeep inside the smoke-filled garage was a hybrid car, they probably wouldn't have used water. Fire departments are now training specifically how to battle these fires because they see so many of them, from cars to snowblowers and even cell phones. Not only are we seeing them more, I've investigated three fires this week with lithium-ion batteries. At South Metro Fire Rescue, firefighters are training to use a giant tarp that suffocates a fire. That basically takes the oxygen out of that fire. The batteries in the car are still burning underneath, but it takes about 15 hours before that fire actually burns itself through. A fire truck can carry 500 gallons of water. Not even that works to put out electric vehicle fires. We want to make sure the firefighters are trained on how to do that. Uh, a lot of them used to just spray water and keep spraying water for hours. So firefighters in Mountain View say they're seeing a huge uptick in electric battery fires and it'll likely get worse. Colorado wants those 940,000 electric vehicles on the road by 2030. That's the state's goal. This Jeep was charging at the time and they still don't know what went wrong. These cars, of course, can catch fire. If they do, firefighters say they're pretty difficult to put out. When you, when you talk about this, Mark, it, it reminds me of, of the Marshall Fire and all the firefighting resources that were crowded around the Tesla building there in, I guess, Superior, right off of US 36. Yeah, and people were there saying, hey, why are you protecting this multi-billion dollar company's asset, this Tesla uh, either factory or dealership there? And the reason for that is because if the Tesla dealership had caught fire, it could have burned for days. It would have been an environmental disaster. And the reason is because when these batteries catch fire, they're so hard to put out. I will say, as somebody who drove by late that night, stopped to take some pictures there, the smell at that it's spot bad. and that fire was something to behold. So whatever burned there at the Tesla factory, or uh, the Tesla store just smelled like nasty. Bit. Probably not great. Not great. All right, Mark, thank you.